to manage the same size of uh, of, uh, of uh, traffic uh, traffic elements. So, as I said, the quadrants will have uh, more or less the same size. Uh, it's important not overload agents with quadrants too many big, because if a quadrant is too many big, maybe the the uh, you know the agent will be overloaded, will be too many traffic elements to handle. And each quadrant will be controlled by an agent, uh, an agent, a global agent. I will explain later the kind of agent that we are uh, managing. And in, in each quadrant, uh, it's important not not exclude any traffic zone. So uh, they will be able to manage uh, in that in each in, in health quadrant or each quadrant uh, all the traffic elements. And uh, it's important that uh, the agents from every quadrant can communicate with the other agents. I will explain later by uh, itself. Uh, each traffic element should follow a complex topology. Not each traffic element, because there are uh, some traffic elements that uh, it's not necessary to, to follow a complex topology, but the more important is yes. uh, the topology is necessary to establish the communication that will have the different agents between itself. And we we are using three kinds of uh, policies. I guess one is a star, it's uh, known for all of you. Needs of a ring of a star, and the third one is the fully connected. So the traffic elements are like this list of the domain. Each traffic element is considered as an agent, and some agents have more importance than others. Normal. And the main elements are the, the cameras that are local agents. The cameras have a topology in uh, star topology. The cameras are used. Uh, the, the main objective is to try to to see, for example, if uh, one camera is pointing to a street or to some streets, it tries to see if the 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 street has a lot of, uh, has uh, too many vehicles to try to, um, to, to see if there is a, a optimal street or an optimal route to take in order to arrive to the emergency place. This can be used, for example, using technicals like uh, neural networks in, in, in order to, to, uh, to know if uh, the, taking the image of the, of the street if it's uh, possible to go through through this uh, street. The traffic lights that uh, are also local agents. The topology of these uh, agents are uh, green topology, and also the mixed topology, green and star. Uh, and it's uh, to allow the global agents to communicate uh, between its uh, information panels are only to inform the, the drivers that there is a problem, there is a jam, uh, you should take the next uh, exit or something like that. They didn't have uh, any complex topology. The sensors are used to, to, to open the traffic lights in some cases. For example, if an ambulance is going uh, from in a road, there needs to open some traffic light to uh, try to, um, to Try to uh, uh, try to uh, avoid no, uh, to uh, <laughs> uh, try to um, uh, try to avoid uh, uh, to uh, uh, try to uh, the sensor is to open the, the traffic lights. Uh, for example, if uh, an ambulance is going through a road and uh, there are a lot of traffic jam, they will open the traffic, the traffic light in order to, uh, to let the ambulance pass uh, through the, the car. The car will move and then the ambulance can pass. So that's an example. The regional agents, it's like uh, the first uh, going from the bottom to the top uh, are the local agents, then are the, the regional agents, and then in the top are the global agents. The regional agents control the local agents, 
and the global agents control the regional agents. And the vehicles that, uh, for example, the every ambulance, uh, fire, fire car, and uh, police car, it's considered as, it's considered like a like an agent that uh, that will be controlled. This is a representation of uh, more or less uh, who, will, who will be the, um, the distribution of the agents. The black box are the, the global agents. Uh, each quadrant should have at least uh, one global agent. The red points are the, um, the regional agents. That more or less should be uh, in, in tribute part uh, in all the quadrant, uh, trying to to be uh, not separate uh, one uh, from each other. And the local agents are not represented, but uh, for example, if uh, it's a local a regional agent, all the traffic lights or the sensors or the traffic elements that uh, will be managed by the, by the regional agents will be will be near near to the regional agents. So, for example, in this zone we will have some local agents controlled by this regional agent. In this zone, another, another, another. Uh, the same for all the other points. So each local agent is managed by the, the closure regional agent. To calculate the distance, uh, we are still working on that, but the first approach is what to use the Euclid distance or similar, like uh, you see, but uh, and more efficient uh, approach uh, will be uh, represent the distance, the, okay, the map uh, in a graph with weights. And the weight will be calculated depending on various uh, things or variables like the distance, the percentage of equation of the road or of the street, the emergency lanes, etc. So the final distance uh, will be uh, calculated uh, taking into account these uh, variables and not only the, the real distance between one, uh, one point and, and the other. So uh, the levels of uh, agent activation in distance of the LSDC vehicles are these four levels. The level zero is that uh, the agent is in left, so the agent is in normal situation, will not enter in activation immediately, normal working. Level one is the alert for remote, dis uh, remote distance, so in global agents indicate that the objective is near of each quadrant, but not enough closer to advise regional agents. It's like, for example, if uh, if uh, the, <coughs> the emergency vehicle is uh, here uh, in, the, in this quadrant, uh, this, this and this quadrant will be the global agents of each quadrant will be advised that are in level one because, okay, it's near but not so, not so near. Uh, level two, uh, unless for near distance, is when it's uh, about to, to enter the next quadrant. And the global agents indicate that the object is very near of each quadrant. So, we'll advise to its closer regional agents to take care of the situation. So, this agent will advise to the local agents to make a, a plan of action to open the way to, to open a way to the vehicle. Finally, the highest level of risk is the three, that uh, is where the object is in the quadrant. So, all the agents, all the systems should be in maximum alert uh, to manage uh, all these issues with maximum priority. Here we can see an example. For example, if uh, the emergency vehicle is in point A and wants to go to point B, uh, we can see, for example, that the first regional agent that will be advised will be that regional agent. This is the root, pl uh, the root plane for the quadrant uh, number one. Then, when it's a uh, closure of this regional agent, will be enabled. Then we'll be enabled that. Then we enter in the quadrant three, so we will uh, uh, advise to the uh, global agent of quadrant three that uh, we are entering in its quadrant, so we will uh, 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 enable, enable the this regional agent, and that's the same. Go to the second quadrant, and as you can see, uh, all the regional agents that are close of the route of the ambulance or of the vehicle will be in, 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 enabled. And then go to the, then we will arrive to the, Finalism. The same that I explained, the initial state will be in the quadrant one. Uh, now I will show a um, set of protocols that we develop 
of the IDU transmission. Uh, uh, the acronyms are the ES Emergency Service, uh, the IDU is Global Agent, LPAX is Regional Agent, LPAX is Local Agents that belongs to Quadrant X, are, um, are under orders of Regional Agent LRXI, and 2X is the Quadrant X, and is the, the message that is and that is to set up. To set up. Uh, it's not uh, the complete uh, draft uh, of, the, of the protocol because it's very large to, to, to see from the quadrant one to the other quadrant uh, to the five quadrant. It's very large, but it's only to see an example. For example, the first is that the emergency service requests a, a, a route uh, to the global agent one because it's in the first quadrant. So, uh, yeah, uh, the emergency service said, uh, give me a route from A to B, and <coughs> the description. And for example, uh, the, the global agent will uh, try to um, calculate a, a plan, or a plan of action, a route, and say that the route will be through the B1, B3, B2, and B5. And continue once the, uh, the corresponding global agents and the corresponding uh, regional agents until he arrives to the final final destination, so will be the end of the uh, there will be more 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 message like if you go to this street and tweet this street and this street but it's only to, to see a uh, an easy uh, use case. So talking about the evaluation, at this moment we are still developing this project. One of, this part, one of the parts of this project is the planning of the, of the routes in upon the current map of the quadrant, so it will be a graph, and the current traffic situation. So we develop a system called EWG, that is for the chronic for traffic word generator, that uses uh, this planning pair, this plan, sorry, uh, fast forward, to generate plans in real time in upon possible, possible traffic problems. To do that, we, we are um, managing uh, managing uh, shopping events, trying to, to develop the, the, the routes in real time. As I said, this is still under development, but <coughs> the first results are shown in how to create optimal routes. And depending on the quadrant or the graph, the planner takes a few seconds to calculate every move. The problem is that uh, in real time system, uh, the planner sometimes get freezing. It depends the the, the route, how it, uh, the, sorry, the graph, how it's uh, uh, made, and the vehicles that are in the in the in the in the graph, and um, another thing that we are still trying to to get how uh, how to solve it. To see an um, example of how it's the it's only a demo to see the, in real time how it's working. It's the graph, for example, the we it will be represent only a zone or a quadrant, it will be bigger. And the possible uh, traffic elements, like uh, a police, uh, police car, an ambulance, a fire car, and other cars that can be normal cars that want to be to, the, want to arrive to their destiny. And um, we are still working on that. So the system is still on um, the development. Uh, what this simulation and um, evaluation will be done because the problem with this uh, uh, with this uh, system is that uh, we need to make first a simulation and then try to 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 do it in in real 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 life because it's too complex to do in real life and extend the internal functioning of the system in a new variable real life because it's too complex to to in real life and extend the internal functioning of the system in a bound new variables. So we are still with the with the first variable. Um, that's the announcements for the project. This work is supported by the Spanish Ministry of Industry, Tourism and Commerce and the, the project Sonar and Sonar Dos and the previous project of the Spanish Committee of Education and Science and the mid-severe project of the Spanish Committee of Education and Science. And that's all. Questions, suggestions, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to the local emergency services? I, I Are you talking to the local emergency services who will have to use this? 
So uh, I think that we in the future we will try to yeah, to not to make our our own simulate simply and try to use one that will be the most you know, not uh, to develop one where simulator to to try that. But we we will think about it. And uh, second thing, there is a shame factor. Have you heard of that in these realistic simulations? So shame factor. Shame factor. Shame. Shame means I'm a firefighter. A fire hopes that I wait for a little while. Maybe a closer fire will occur, and I go there. Someone else handle that. Or after enough shame, you go to fix the fire, and it works. I mean, if instead of assigning the resources to the disasters. Immediately, if you wait a little based on the situation, based on number of parts, number of ambulances, and number of road stuff, it may improve the overall throughput, and maybe you may try that. Yeah, the problem is that uh, uh, when when it reaches the, the the order or something like that, it will try to compute the taking account of the variables like the all the traffic, all the cars. Uh, the idea is to try to set immediately to go to the... Yes, yes, I know, but when you are immediately going somewhere, you might miss a very close fire. I mean, yeah. you are next motorway and you heard that a fire happening in the parliamentary building and when you are on the way, you miss two motorway accidents, for example. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about that. Ah, but you end you in uh, find some accidents where when when you are going to the other to the other uh, mm -hmm. emergency. Uh, it's a uh, mm -hmm. shame factor, but I mean, yeah. The hot topic I'm hearing from my other PhD friends at the yeah. university. You may try that; it may happen. That's the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not a rescue simulator, but I don't know. I don't know if some more yeah, recommendation. It's a good uh, question. I, I we don't think about that because the yeah, in fact our, our first goal was to try to arrive to the to the first uh, emergency. Then, if uh, we find emergencies in the in the way, it's an uh, um, option to think about that because uh, of course it's, it's interesting. I think but we we can think about. It. I know, stick to the uh, top of the record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amplic data is precious. Mm -hmm. uh, Amplic data is very precious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, thank you very much.